prebiotics versus probiotics, how they help with digestion, immune function, and inflammatory conditions. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, patients ask me all the time, what's the difference between prebiotics and probiotics? Well, probiotics are the actual live, friendly bacteria that normally would live in the large intestine. But you can take them as a supplement, and if you have a, a food that has live bacteria in it, the friendly bacteria from yogurt or sauerkraut, then you're eating a functional food that has some of the live, friendly bacteria that help to populate the large intestine, that are the good bacteria. So they help to create a healthy microflora, as we say. And so the good bacteria, when they're in the large intestine, where they should be thriving, help to improve digestion, they improve regulation of the immune system. So if the immune system needs to be strengthened, it'll boost it up. If it needs to be pulled back, say an autoimmune disease, it can help to do that. It also can reduce inflammation both in the intestinal tract itself and also across the, 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 uh, the body's systemic um, uh, organ systems as well. So it has an anti-inflammatory effect when you have the right population of friendly bacteria. And they also help to reduce the formation of certain cancer-causing agents in the large intestine, which may reduce the risk of large bowel cancer. So those are probiotics. What are prebiotics? Prebiotics are the food that the probiotic bacteria eat in order to stay alive and to thrive and to multiply and replicate. And so there's two kinds of foods that they really like to eat. FOS and inulin. FOS is short for fructooligosaccharide. We just call it FOS. And when you have FOS, and it's a type of, of soluble fiber, you can get some of it in food, but when you take it as a supplement, it helps to really feed the friendly bacteria so they can grow and populate and crowd out the unfriendly bacteria and the yeast uh, that may be growing in the large intestine so you have a, a healthier microflora. So the FOS and inulin are really foods or fuels that help the, the friendly bacteria, the probiotics, grow and multiply. So the end result is, when you take prebiotics, as you end up with more good bacteria in the large intestine and they crowd out the bad bacteria. So when would you take a probiotic or a prebiotic? Well, I think it's best to take probiotic supplements if you're on antibiotics and you really need to reconstitute the friendly bacteria. That's an important consideration. People with autoimmune disease, I think they should take a probiotic supplement every day. People with compromised immune function, I think they should take probiotics every day. Prebiotics, the foods that feed the probiotics, uh, are more of a day-to-day -day concern just to maintain a healthy microflora in the intestinal tract. And they hurt to, they hurt, it helps to guard against the buildup of dysbiosis, where you have too many unfriendly bacteria that can cause problems both in the gut and systemically throughout the body. I, I believe it's best to take prebiotics like FOS and inulin in a supplement that also contains digestive enzymes. Because as we get older, we make fewer digestive enzymes. It's harder to digest food. So if you have any gastrointestinal complaints at all, taking a digestive enzyme full-spectrum supplement that also contains FOS and inulin, I think, is an excellent idea. If you click on the link below, you'll see my review article on prebiotics. It's called Prebiotics, a Reliable Method to Increase the Gut-Friendly Bacteria. All the scientific references are there, so you can see you're getting sound information from me. Remember that at machinohealth.com, you see my other research review papers, footage from my live professional seminars, other downloads and resources I've created, all there to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. All of my review papers and teaching materials have all the scientific references in them, so you'll know you're getting only evidence-based information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. So make sure that you use machinohealth.com as an ongoing, reliable resource for health and wellness information with respect to your own needs and those of your family. Thanks so much for watching.